Hello. In this video, I will demonstrate the use of the WebEx remote support tool. Enter your personal WebEx room. I covered many of the features in a previous video. This video will deal strictly with support. Click the WebEx support link in the lower left hand corner of the screen. The support session window will open offering two options. Join a support session or start a support session. The checkbox allows you to send a support invitation using your own email as opposed to the system email. When you click start a support session, a new interface will open. This will be the main interface you'll be working from when delivering support to your user. At the top, you can invite a customer, a support representative, or join a phone call. Directly below that is where you will enter the email of the user you're trying to offer support to. Below that, again, you will see a box to check if you would like to send the invitation from your own email program or allow the WebEx system to send the email. Below that, you'll have options to have the user join from the web or to send the link in an instant message. A bit of information about sending the invitation to the user. I've had problems sending the invitation using my own personal internal email. Sometimes the user does not get the mail or it takes a very long time, but I've had no issue sending the email using the WebEx internal mail. After the invitation is sent, the user will receive an email. It will look something like this. Inside is a message and a link to join the remote support session. When the user clicks the link, they will be given a form to fill out. They will enter their name, email address, and company in the form, and this will be displayed to you at the start of the remote session. Once the user submits, they will be displayed in your user interface under customers, their email name and company information will be displayed as you see here. If you click on the second icon, you will be given several view options. You can request view, request control, share view or share control with the user of their desktop or any application they're running on their system. I would simply request control of the desktop. That way you get control of everything at the start. Once you request control, the user will be given the option to allow control. Inform your user to check the box and allow the control of their machine. Once the user releases control, their desktop will show on your screen with a green border. If you move to the upper right hand corner of the screen, you'll see a box labeled sharing. Click the view option and then click window scale to fit. This will exit the default full screen mode and give you a complete view of the user's desktop. You can exit any windows the user has open and begin addressing the user's issues. Clicking on the fourth icon from the left will display for you all of the user's system information. As you can see, you can see everything about the user system, bio, storage, video, network, operating system, all of it. Some screens take a while to populate. You'll see it say refreshing system information. The rest show instantly. Moving on, the next icon is the invite icon. It opens that window we use to send out the invite for the session. You can invite other people to the session. The next icon is participants and it just shows you who is in the session with you. The next icon is chat. In here you can chat with the user that you're helping. Simply type in the chat box what you want to say. The user can then respond using their remote support interface. And as you can see, it will show up in your chat window here. The next icon is the chat transfer icon. It gives you options on how you want to transfer files with the user. 
advanced or basic. The next icon we'll look at is the record function. You can record every support session that you participate in. When you click the icon, you're given these options. The next option is the video icon. This option will open a window and this is where you will see the webcam of the user you are supporting. You can start and share your video with the start button. By the way, everything you see in the background is the user's desktop and remote interface. Your interface is detached and you're viewing the user's desktop in the background. While you're supporting the user, in their interface, details of your actions are being displayed for them to see. Every action you take triggers a short message to the user on what you're doing. The next option is the notes icon. Here you can create and save notes on the support session you're currently in um, for ticketing purposes later. And last but not least, the user account control verification. And as you can see, you're able to see the UAC prompts and you are able to manipulate them. Finally, you can exit the support session here and it gives you an option to put in final notes of the session and end it. I hope this information has been helpful. Thank you for watching and good luck.